Hey guys, welcome to another episode from Stacy Here We Grow Again. Today we're going to go around and do a little garden tour of all my plants, how crazy they're getting. Look at my queen of the night. I'm so excited guys. Look at all her flower buds. I'm going to catch this on my phone, on my camera, whatever I need to do for you to show you her beautiful blooms when she blooms at night. Um, she is my queen of the night cactus. Check this out. She has been responding so well to just the weather, the nutrients. You know, she's a fall blooming plant. She blooms at night between like 10 and 12 at night. And I wanna show you, because she's pushing out all these blooms, she's starting to get blossom drop, which is this. They get really hot pink, the flowers, compared to what they're normally supposed to look like. And I really need to give her nutrients because this is why she's lacking nutrients because she's pushing out so much flowers she's going to need a lot of phosphorus a lot of potassium a lot of nitrogen you can see she's getting new growth that's a new leaf right here so happy she's just getting like a beast she looks so good and i'm so happy guys i can't wait to show you her so that is the queen of the night doing good <laughs> now if i decide propagated doing good there that is my queen of the night that i still haven't transplanted we've had so much going on here with transplanting my raised garden beds, putting new soil in there, getting everything repotted that needs a new home that are just way root bound like those. <laughs> I know they are. And it's nice and cold out today. We got a cold front. So I just wanna go around and show you. These are my succulents. They're gonna be transplanted really soon. I'm just waiting on a pot for them. That is my lettuce. This we're growing individually to full heads. I want to grow all this lettuce. This is leaf variety gourmet blend. I sow them individually in each cell. So we're going to grow these to a full head of lettuce so we utilize our lettuce. Instead of growing them to just a little leaf, we're going to grow them to a full head and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Because you know you can grow them as baby greens but you're wasting every piece of lettuce because they grow to a full head. But we're going to harvest them young so they're still sweet. This is my pineapple, look at her. She's going nuts. We've gotta transplant her and freshen her up with some new soil we got. She's just going nuts. You can check these. That is oregano we transplanted and my parsley. You can see they're doing really good since they were transplanted. I spilt water everywhere, all over the place. There's so much water on the floor from when I watered. <laughs> But that's okay, it'll dry. Um, these, I trimmed a little bit. These little ends here, you can see just how much I trimmed. And she has come back, we transplanted her, and that is a little update for you on transplanting oregano and stuff, and, and parsley, you know. You can transplant them, just give them a good drink for the first few days. And this is what we get. She's going to start spreading out her roots. Look at how big she's getting. She's filling that out nice. Parsley's grown really nice and sturdy now because we buried it up to where it was supposed to be. You can see it's growing really good and those will stay in there for a long time. Nephitis going nuts. She's growing really good. Just going to go around real quick and just, you know, if you go over my videos, you can see just what we did with all of these. I have videos on transplanting these two gals in these two pots. We drilled holes on the bottom. This is sage. I love this sage. It's supposed to be growing really good right now, and it is. You can see she's got all new growth in here, which I'm going to start to propagate these. She's getting tons of new branches. So when sage leaves die, which they die pretty often, you want to pluck them off because every leaf you pluck, you're going to get like inner growth. You're going to get growth coming off of where you plucked that leaf. So that's pretty cool. Sage looks so pretty. Succulents, I need a transplant. They're just going crazy. Some sage I have in there. And then these are my plants on my lanai table that I've been getting together, recouping. I have to finish this succulent pot up. Just transplanted all these little gals. Potato shooting out a little plant so we're going to try to transplant these outside and grow some potatoes my little colanchos changing color because of the cooler weather now guys you're going to have to water a lot less in the cooler weather you can see that you know 
these are gonna stay dry for a long time. If you watch your pots versus the winter to the summer, they are gonna dry out a lot slower in the winter time. So you, especially for succulents, you're gonna have to water a lot less. We just transplanted these in my new succulent soil mix that I made and they're liking it. They're doing good. They're acclimating to their new pot. Lettuce doing good. Aloe looking a little rough. He needed some light so we brought him out here. He was inside and he was kind of a lone survivor that we forgot about in the back of my table. <laughs> That is my succulent pot I transplanted yesterday. We did a video for you guys on these. They're cactuses with little hen and chick succulents. So this is the finished product. You can see how pretty it is. Just looks so good with them colors playing off the pot. They're gonna be so happy in there. Your plant's doing good. Lettuce we transplanted. The jade, just some lettuce growing. We're gonna grow these to a full head, guys. So we're gonna make sure they grow really big. This is red leaf, and this is from my gourmet blend mix. And these grow into like a romaine head, a little romaine head. So does black seeded Simpson, and like we got spinach in here. So I've been thinning these out really, really gently so we can give them their own space. My citronella plant going nuts, guys. Let me move out of the way. I'm knocking into my chairs. You can see she's go growing really well. And this we transplanted. This was my little queen of the night. Check her out, guys. She's doing good. She looks great in that new pot. She's going to love this new pot. And she's starting to bloom, too. And what you want to do is make sure that your plant is not getting this stuff on it. Because you can see how hot pink that is. Well, look how easy it comes off. See? She's going to need nutrients, too. Especially that we just transplanted her. So that's going to look really pretty when she fills out that pot. I gotta give nutrients to all my flowering plants today. My whole garden got nutrients the other day with CalMag and Miracle Grow and new potting soil. So check it out. That new garden soil, that raised bed garden soil mix that I mixed up with my succulent soil and a little Coco Loco. Check it out. It looks beautiful. My plants are responding well. These are radish we planted. They're growing really well. Got them in a line. More radish that just popped. They're really, really small, just starting to sprout. And then we got carrots. These are Denver half longs. They're starting to sprout. They're doing really good with the soil, guys. We got a couple of rows. They're really small, so you can't really see them too good. You can see they're just starting to sprout. So we're doing good. We're looking good. The beets are growing. I mean, these are radish, not beets. <laughs> you can see the radish are growing really good, guys. So we're doing good. We got our garden bed mix in here. Gave nutrients, CalMag, and this is just the results of it. This is why I'm showing you guys this, because it can be done. You can grow this stuff if you live in Florida. We're growing beans, carrots, just everything right now. You know, we're getting cooler weather. It's pretty chilly here in Florida, but you can see that they are cool weather vegetables. They love it. You know, if we get below freezing, I have to watch. Then I'm going to have to cover them lightly with a sheet or something, but we'll see. My peas are starting to flower. You can see they're pretty. We got everything's growing just really well. We got so many beans starting. Coleus, look at that coleus. She's going nuts with her blooms. And I've left her blooms on there. We got a cup back there. <laughs> I left her blooms on there because she's attracting bees for my garden cottage garden mix getting big topped off with that fresh compost mix and they like it you can see just how much they grew freshening freshening up your soil is just really important to your garden especially during the flowering and fruiting stage you can see just how big her beans are getting Look how big these these kentucky wonder poles get these are them we topped off with our nutrients and fresh soil so she's been rocking out we got a couple in here and I just transplanted, I mean, I just planted some lettuce, not transplanted. You can see I just planted some black seeded Simpson and some gourmet blend mix up in here. So they're going to be sprouting too. And the beans are going to give my lettuce the nitrogen and, and nutrients they need. So I don't have to put too much in there. I like to garden all organic if I can. And look how big these beans are getting, guys. They're go crazy. But everything looks so good. They're so green. 
nutrients once every two weeks right now and that's about it guys that's all I'm doing and I topped off with my fresh compost mixture and they're happy look at this big bean they're all gonna get this big and I can't wait to harvest all of them with you guys we're gonna wait it's gonna be such a good bean we got radish in there with them growing big take you over here we're trying to grow this lettuce to a full head over here it kind of just dropped on the soil by itself a few weeks ago to a month ago now and I'm just letting it grow I got some red leaf some um, oak leaf and some black seeded Simpson so we're gonna see how it does I don't know about that stuff I don't really like to plant in this area because you can see all the weeds that we got <laughs> really just gets all over your plants get bugs in your plants blackberry doing good we transplanted our blackberry I want to show you that guys I forgot to show you that but look at her she's going crazy he tops her off with fresh compost. Blueberry, she's starting to bud. So check this out. She's got blueberries growing, guys. See that? She's got blueberries growing because our season's late right now. So she's growing blueberries everywhere. All these individual buds here are going to be blueberries. So that's pretty crazy that we're getting this right now. But it's happening, so we're giving her nutrients. The blueberry and blackberry once every two weeks right now with my miracle grow and then when she starts blooming in late bloom when she's pushing the fruit out we'll start giving her some bloom nutrients this is my butterfly plant doing really good she loves water look at them pretty blooms she blooms so big i love that plant just some time hanging out snapdragons this is zucchini i mean yellow squash <laughs> not zucchini and then that sage growing big all the flowers fell in there and then this is my pea and green bean tote that we planted we topped off with that fresh compost that mixture we made with my new soil and stuff and look how great that is it's so rich I love this new soil it really has popped my plants you can see they're all popped now they're just they look so healthy some more peas, Alaskan, some coleus that was seeds that fell. <laughs> we kind of left them. This is my pepper doing good. You can see we're growing peppers really nice. She's producing for us. She's growing more peppers, more flowers. You can see a little guy and then another big guy. Look how big these peppers. Once your peppers start growing, guys, they start getting really big. So we're going to harvest, we got tons of peppers. This side's starting to catch up and grow them flowers back because we topped off with a fresh compost, a nice fresh compost with the homemade we made and the stuff we bought at the store that we mixed up ourselves with my Coco Loco, the Miracle Grow Soil, and the um, organics mix that we had. So you can check out those videos if you need help. We're uh, putting that on our other pepper plant we bushed out. And then this gal is pushing out peppers too. So we got peppers everywhere. And you can see they're really healthy. They're not yellow. They're not falling off. We're not getting leaf drop. We're not getting fruit drop, I mean. You can see they got peppers everywhere. So <clears throat> we're doing really well, guys. Can't wait to harvest all them peppers over there. <laughs> Carrots doing really well. These are going to be ready to pick soon. Look at how pretty the foliage is. I love carrot foliage, don't you? Look so pretty. And I got so many babies underneath getting big. See that? All these little babies are getting big under here, guys. So we're going to have carrots right behind these, too. And then you want to sow your carrots and beans and stuff and peas and lettuce every two weeks so you have a continual harvest throughout your winter. These are growing flowers. You can see the peas since the weather cooled down here in Florida. We are looking good. We got another pea brand new just started growing you can see that's how they start and then that's how they grow and then check it out this is her little pea so we got nice peas guys that's due to the fresh compost mix you can see just how green it is our little lettuce seedlings doing good that we transplanted out here look how good these get when you transplant them, they like come back with a vengeance, these little seedlings. This is gourmet blend, so I got red leaf in here, and black seeded Simpson in here, and Ashley in here. Oak leaf, that's another pea. <laughs> but you can see just what that fresh compost does. And these peas provide nitrogen to the soil for your, for your lettuce too. 
I gotta sift this compost out and then I'm gonna show you guys keep an eye out for the video we got a lot going on so I haven't gotten to my compost yet but this is done and we're gonna sift it out and I'm gonna show you guys how to add new and start new from the stuff you already have left and I want to just show you really quick we're gonna take you over here and I want to just make a little trip to show you my blackberry that I pinched out of the pot check it out guys I transplanted her I just pulled her out and we transplanted her and this came out of this pot with the blackberry it was right there sitting right here I just kind of pulled her up gently till she broke and the root came off with her and we're good we potted her up in that new potting soil you can see just how good this potting soil is so I really like it no complaints my plants have no complaints but you'd really have to add a lot of perlite with the garden bed mix if you're gardening in containers you really have to watch the way you mix it because you know it can rot your plants out and I don't want that to happen to you guys that's why you got a garden you know pretty safe and if you you have a trouble with mixing your own garden soil either go by my guide or what you can do just some flowers I'm showing you what you can do is um you know, just buy potting soil, regular potting soil, instead of the raised garden bed mix to mix on your own. And it'll make it a lot easier for you for the pots. These are coleus we transplanted. Little seedlings that we plucked out of the ground. <laughs> They're doing good. My garlic is doing really good. I planted some garlic out here. I'm not sure if I told you guys that, but we rooted it in some water. Put them in a little water. And we rooted them. So look, we got garlic. It's so cool. Check it out. <laughs> We're going to grow garlic, guys, together. I never grew garlic before, so if you have any tips or tricks, please let me know. I'd love to hear you and comment below. <laughs> and this is my watermelon. She's been getting beastie. I wanted to show you guys this for so long. We topped off with that fresh compost. Look how dark and rich it is compared to what was down. And that's why we top off just around the base there's two here and she's trellising like crazy look at this and she's blooming we're getting tons of blooms right now tons of watermelon you can see that one pollinated I got another one that pollinated up there I don't want to step in there too much another one we just got yesterday oh not that one She's getting so big that I don't even know where her blooms are anymore, guys. I know I had one over there. Oh, there it is. See? She's hiding. They spit off to the bottom. <laughs> I knew it was over here. You can see she's growing really big. It was pollinated. You got to be so gentle at this stage because they can break really easily. But you can see because of the fresh compost and nutrients and just from everything we've been giving her, she's been really doing good. And it's not even the season to grow watermelon right now. So that's pretty, pretty cool. I'm so happy we're growing watermelon together and looking at this Charleston Gray. And I wanna show you, look at this big one. I'm gonna make sure my doggy doesn't come over here and break it, but look at it. It's so gentle at this stage, but look how big it is already, guys. So we know we've got a pollination, it's growing, it's getting really big, and I'm so happy due to water you know as soon as that water dries out that soil dries out to the fingertip deep then you know you're okay to water again and then give your nutrients she's getting nutrients once every two weeks with my miracle grow and then cal mag in between for the calcium and magnesium and then um she got topped off with the fresh compost and this is just you know my whole garden what i do for my whole garden they love it it's just a really cheap easy way to garden and on a budget and i'm always on a budget here so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and grow some plants of your own. We are trying to do this for a great cause here. I hope to get to a point where, you know, we, we get some support and we can grow some food for some homeless shelters or, you know, just people in need. I would love to help anybody that needs it or, you know, bring you guys on that journey with me. I'd love to take you along with me to the shelters so you can see what I'm doing and where it's going. Um, hopefully we can get to that point one day. I'm so happy and welcome all the new subscribers to my channel. I thank you for sticking with me through these videotapings. You know, they're, they might not be perfect, but you know, I just want to show you guys how to garden and that it can be easy on you. Just make it easy on yourself. It is a science, yes, and it's great to learn the science behind gardening, 
But if you make it easy on yourself, you'll have great success with lots of practice, trial and error. We failed so many times in the beginning, but guess what? We're at a point now where we can grow produce and have fun with it and just be one with nature and grow what we want to grow. <laughs> Till next time, guys. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. We're going to have so much more here to come. I'm so excited. And thank you guys for following me and my journey to just create a better place. And welcome to the gardening community, to all of you. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.